What's going on here? Fuck. I'm so on edge right- Oh my god, like ice that spent chills up my fucking back. Fuck this noise! G'day guys, my name's Josh. Yo, can call me Job Wordle and welcome to a mad little game called Cold World, which has been described as a police thriller slash horror. A nice little another indie horror game because that's what I seem to be doing these days. Why not? I don't like horror games. I get scared to death even with not scary games. So why not play a bunch of horror games? Sure, great idea. Anyway, I am playing Cold War because it looks like a pretty cool little game. All I know, the best thing about this is I have a gun. I have a gun and that makes me feel a whole lot better about every, anything that might come for me. Even if the gun does nothing, the idea that I can just like sh run backwards and shoot as I'm going makes me feel a whole lot better about my daily life. Anyway, I am playing as a brand new recruit to the police force. Is it Newport Police Force? I think it was. I'm not sure. I'll have to double check. And I am out here. First aid kit. Can I take the big torch? Can I have can I have the big torch pretty please? That torch looks like much better than mine. Nah. Okay. Never mind. I am there. Yeah, I'm a brand new recruit. This is my first job. God forbid you turn on the actual light stick bag, but sure, whatever. I am here to solve some crimes. Oh, there's a big power switch. Pull the switch. Turn things on. So E is taking, uh, take out gun. Uh, oh god, the uh, shooting is, doesn't look accurate at all. Or maybe that was just the gunpowder smoke. I don't know. R is reload. And apparently Q is interact with objects. But it doesn't mean I can turn on this freaking switch. Maybe there's a light switch back at the, at the entrance. Let's, let's check that out. Oh, and caps lock is sprint, which is always nice. Authorized personnel only. On. On. No, no on. There is no on. I'm all by myself. What about this? This on. Oh, yep. There we go. It lit up. I pressed. Okay. I pressed a button. Lights? Anything? No? Donuts. Uh-oh. We have a no. Lauren, I'm going to need to stay until Tammy gets here at midnight. While you're here, please don't forget to fill out those return sheets from Telth Construction. Just let Tammy handle the papers from the other corporations. We need to have uh, Telth's paperwork done by 8am tomorrow. Shut up. I'm reading. I'm taking you off Saturday and you'll max out the week at 29 hours. Take care and see you next Monday. Jonathan Wilmer, Supervisor, Director of Facilities. If you're writing a cheeky little note like that... Yeah, if you're running out like that, you probably don't sign off with your title. But sure, exposition is exposition all the same. Um, anything else around here? No, let's go up this ramp. Oh. Oh! Oh, fuck! Son of a bitch! Oh! Fuck that noise! You can't do that shit to me! Oh! Oh, I already hate this guy! Okay, I'm being brave. I'm going back in. Can I interact with this? No. I've got goosebumps all over my arms and all over my legs. That fucked me up six ways from Sunday. How is my guy not saying anything about that? He's just like, oh, yep, yep. No, normal day on the job. It's all fine. Oh, I suddenly hate everything. I hate everything. Remember when I said I was glad I had a gun because I could totally shoot stuff and like back away? Well, when things come flying at me like that, I don't really have the chance to run, do I? Oh, okay. What now? What do I, just, do I just drop down here? I don't. I don't know. Can I can't. I can't drop down there. Oh, please, please! I regret playing this game. Please take mercy on me. I'm not taking any chances anymore. I'm not taking any chances. I'm just putting lead into anything that looks. Oh, there's some like solid titties over there. I'm gonna have to blow those out. Oh God, you've been you've been real messed up. Okay, I, I'm going to have to pull the bag off. Got just close up on the titties then. I'll blow those. Don't worry. Congratulations, Editing Josh. You're now going to have to do a whole lot more work. That's a fair stab though. Don't... Okay, I'm leaning back. I'm not invested. I'm not involved. Uh, okay, I, I've pressed Q like a hundred times. Take the fucking bag off already. Just take... What are you waiting for, dude? Check Fuck me. Yeah, but just, oh, no shit, dude. Fuck me. Just, you're not going to do anything? Okay, I think she's dead. Out of ammo. Out of fucking ammo! Fuck! Why didn't the game warn me that there was ammo in this and I shouldn't be blowing it all? Oh, I regret so many things. I regret so many things. Just let me fucking out of here, please. I'm going back because I don't know where to go now. I couldn't open the door down there. There's a keypad. That had a lock on it, but I could I didn't know the code apparently. So I'm going to trying to find somewhere else to go. I go down here yet? No, where What's next then? Is there a how do I what? So you, what you've done you scared me half to death, show me some titties and a, fa uh, a a dead chick with a knife in her heart, and then that's it. 
What do I do next? So this is the keypad. The keypad glows. I'm definitely supposed to do something with it. I pressed it and when the, the glowy bit went away. Now it's back again. Can you just, can you, do I have to take it down? Wait, is it, does it glow something when I do that? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Why doesn't the keypad work? Why can't I open the door? What? Why? I mean, I appreciate the whole like Resident Evil feel of this. Like it's real trippy and like really puts me on edge and shit as you can probably tell. But like, I don't know what the next thing is. What? What am I doing here? Oh, I found it. Okay, there was just a random code on a box right there. Right where the dead chick was looking. All right, cool. Sure. Does it go? So, sorry, anything, Josh, to get the tits out of frame for you. <laughs> Goddamn, I'm going to hate myself later. Okay, can I make some progress now? Is that, did that, did that do it? Can I, I, code, code in, door open. Door in, no, code in, door open. Open! I had to go back and pick up the codes and the game kind of glitched out a little bit. Still in early access, so some errors are, are, are bound to happen. But now hopefully I've actually picked up that piece of paper with codes. And there we go. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Let me in. Please don't scare me half to death. Don't, come on. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do me like that. Hello? Is anyone in here? You're going to come up with a knife or something? I mean, you left your knife in that bitch back there. If you've got another one, I will put several bullets. Oh, the only good thing about me like glitching out is I now have ammo again. So if someone runs at me, I will put them down. I don't like this. Keeping my back to the wall. There's radio chatter coming through. And I'm just creeping along. Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. Why am I playing this game? This is the victim's ID. She's a 21-year-old college student named Lauren Hernandez. I have no idea where I'm going. I found her ID. Her name's Laura Hernandez. She's a college student. What's going on here? Fuck. I'm so on edge right... Oh my god, like, oh, I just that chills up my fucking back. Fuck this noise. This is the moment, dude. In fact, I'm sorry, this is the moment. A long time ago is when you call for backup. This is horse shit. And maybe like a generator with some fucking giant floodlights or something. Fuck this for a joke. Um, oh, I've been up there. Okay, that's that's the other doorway from the top that I can't I can't get down here because apparently this dude can't climb or use stairs. You have to use ramps. He to, just, just like the other game with the wheelchair in the asylum. This guy apparently can't get anything more than like an inch high. Oh, what? Where? What am I? What am I looking for here? Is there, I found the ID in this giant warehouse. There's got to be more, right? I'm going back after I found her ID. I'm, I'm expecting her not to be there or something to be here, which is going to scare the fuck out of me. Hello? Nah, you're still there. Oh, I hate this so much. All right, we're back. We're going up to where that hanging dude was. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Just be brave, Josh. Be brave. Remember, it's a game and it can't hurt you. Oh, it could definitely hurt me. It's gonna make my heart explode. Why is there a phone here covered in blood? The whole vending machine's covered in blood. Can I use the phone to be received? I don't, I don't understand. I've been through this whole place and I can't find anything anymore. Am I missing something? Can I just like leave? Can I just, this is back where I, exactly where I started. Beep. No, nope, nothing. Can I just walk out the door? Oh, no. Don't make me go looking for more stuff, please. Are those bullets? Or are they just like, is this like a machining shop? How did they run out of ammo before if there's brass everywhere? I actually just don't know anymore. I've gone through this whole place with like a, almost a fine tooth comb. I just, it's hard. I mean, the, the blue outline for stuff you need to find and pick up is not particularly bright. And it's kind of hard to know what I'm looking for or where I'm looking for. And I'm back in the big part of the warehouse. I just don't know anymore. Like... What am I actually looking for here? Is there more to find? Am I just running around run in circles for no reason? Is there something super obvious that I have? Ooh. What is this? Okay, I found a phone. Wait five minutes at the washers. I wonder who this asshole's meeting. Alright, so he's meeting someone else. Why would you leave your phone there? It's not a great idea. If we can go through his if you're gonna post his nudes on Facebook. You can't leave your phone unlocked in the middle of a warehouse, dude. That's a bad idea. I'm back to the start again. Alright, I don't know. I don't know. There's probably something else in here that I need. 
but I can't I can't progress anymore. I've that, that's it. That's all she wrote. I found that phone. And I've gone back through and just nothing happens. Maybe like I didn't do something right. Maybe I didn't progress right. I don't know, but I will, I mean, I'm just like hanging out to stay in this game. I've been like cramped up and clenching my butthole for like 45 minutes now. And I, 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 I refuse to do that anymore. My, my poo has been sucked all the way back up into my stomach. I can't poo myself because I've clenched so hard. I'm going to be constipated for like a week. So I'll come back and play some more Cold World if, if you guys like this video. If there's something else to do, if I'm missing something, then I'll come back and I'll play some more in another episode. Because this episode is done so thank you guys for watching most of all thank you to all the patrons on patreon who made this episode possible if you liked it make sure you like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter but don't talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one